does it ever surprise you the emotional response that that people have to you? I think it's amazing because people actually cried when I went into the pit. I'm supposed to be a bad guy, but they, yeah. they, in the cinema they're going, no, no, not now, no. And they, you know, this, audibly, he was yeah. being shrieked, oh, please. They were and I was in the cinema when they were re-releasing it, and I heard this. I thought, oh, maybe, maybe he is quite cool. Yeah. And, and he seemed to have turned out that way. Um, I wonder how many times you've got this question, but I, I'm really curious. Um, a lot of, you know, documentaries have been done about the making of Star Wars, and they always talk about how no one believed it was going to go anywhere. But in The Empire Strikes Back, it was a different animal. What was it like to get that role knowing that it was this huge phenomenon? Well, a huge phenomenon. The New Hope, massive success. But Empire Strikes Back, this is a new film. Most sequels don't work. I remember seeing Jaws, wonderful film, but Jaws 2 was probably the worst film I've ever seen. And you think, oh God, are we going to go that way? But no, it, it was something new, different things. And people caught onto it very quickly and said, this is a terrific film. I think those first three were wonderful films. Return yeah. of the Jedi, I, I enjoyed. But yeah. for me, the best one was Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. What was it like working with Irvin Kirshner? Terrific. He used to walk through your moves. He said, now, watch me. And I, you know, normally you hate directors who say, watch me. Yeah. Well, then you think, well, why don't you do it? You know, you do it. So yeah. you go, dum, dum, and you walk, and then, and then you turn around and you go like this. I said, oh, thank you very much, lovely. And so I'd do it, and, and you see me like this. He said, yes, exactly, well done. But in fact, you changed it a bit, because yeah. you have to have some of yourself well, of in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, how, how much of yourself did you infuse into the character? Well, I think I gave a lot of movement, probably through doing ballet lessons at school, but it was very much, he'd, he'd lean, he'd just move, just slightly, so he's on the, so he, there was an awful lot of that gentle, quiet, calm, but ready to strike, like a cobra, finish. That's really interesting. I mean, this is something that came up when the movie V for Vendetta came out, um, and Hugo Weaving's amazing performance under a mask the whole time. Um, tell me a little bit about the challenge of playing a character without using your face. Well, I think I, I was helped by having a fantastic costume. And it didn't actually matter, you know, but the, as long as you make the, the part, I mean, the costume did it for me. And I knew that you don't wave a gun around, you just hold it, you cuddle it, cradle it, do what you want. As long as you put something of yourself in it, then, then it's true. But if you just follow total direction, then, then it's not you, it's somebody else. 